Let me send this man this text message and let him know I want my family back. Bitch, I'm about to humble your ass. Do it. Send it. Send an email. Send a pigeon. Send the kids wrapped up in a nice bow. Tell them you'll take them off child support. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you got therapy. Tell them that you lost weight. Tell them you went back to school. Tell them you ain't going to school. Tell them you'll get surgery. Tell them that. Tell them. Do it. Try. I've seen it all. Baby, if a man don't want you having kids, withholding his kids, bringing him his kids, uh, it, it's not going to happen. And accept that. You are not a bum. Somebody said in the comment, your comments, you are a bum baby mama if you can't get your baby daddy back. No, that's not the case. You're just a woman who knows that she can move on and that her child's father has a right to do that too. Send the text though. But see, if you send a text or email of that pigeon, you're going to get your feelings hurt. Not by me because I don't even see that stuff. I don't entertain it. He's going to dead it. And then you're going to keep kids from him because he's not a good dad. Girl, bye. Listen, right? Listen to this. Okay, so the, the woman in the beginning of the video, I guess there was some kind of beef with, I guess, the, the fact that the uh, baby daddy done moving on to the girlfriend, to the new girl. And so the baby mom was trying to be like, oh, well, you know, don't play with me because I can have him whenever I want him. Don't make me um, tell him I want my family back and take your man from you. Like, you know, just trying to play that competition game. Women don't want to share a man. That's what they say. But then at the same time, they want to share the man uh, when, the, when the man is not in their household anymore. Doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but the thing is, right, a lot of these women, they will come up and be bold-faced. Like, oh, he, he was a man enough for me, Tony Braxton. Like, it was me who didn't want this, and it was me who didn't want that. And her being on the other, this woman is on the other side of the coin, and she's like, well, listen to me. You can do whatever it is that you deem necessary. Right? You, if a man does not want you, he's not going to be with you. My point of view is, when are women going to understand or comprehend in their brain that they are not in control over marriage or relationships? When are women going to get that through their brain? Because women walk around high and mighty like they have all the power, all the control. They run the, they call the shots. You know, it's me. And if I want this, I'm going to have it. And I can have him back if I wanted to. I just don't want to. And I can do this and I can do that. But no. It's dependent on that very man that you say you don't need, you only want. He's only a plus in your life. And he's so this and he's that. But if he's not asking you. If he is not, um, you know, avidly, he's not pursuing you, then how is it that you are going to be holding or withholding or doing anything? A lot of women are operating out of the power that a man gave them in the past, right? A man made them the girlfriend. They were in a relationship, made them the baby mama or made them the wife in the past. And they're still holding on to that as if they have that same power seat. And you know what? They don't. They do not. Hence, why a lot of men are hesitant to venture into relationships, to give that seat to a woman, because they know that a lot of that power seat, power play, whatever it is, a lot of that gets to a woman's head, and now she start acting like she run you, she run your mama, she run the kids, she run everybody, she run everybody around you, and everybody else is an option. I'm the queen. You can't look at no woman, talk to no woman, say nothing to no woman, like no picture. You can't do, and you can't even breathe air if I do not tell you that you are allowed to because I own you now. Men know that. That's what they be like. Oh mm -mm, no, no. Soon as you be talking about marriage, they be like, I, I got to think about this. Okay? Let me say it. That's what the man said. He be like, let, let me think about it. Let me bring it up to you because I know how y'all get. And most of the time, the ones who be forcing it, that's the ones who be acting crazy in the end, to be clear. But what I don't understand 
is that a lot of women would come out and be like, they baby daddy not nothing, he not this, he's horrible, he's terrible. Oh, you know, I can't wait because, yeah, I don't, I'm glad he's with somebody else because he's not this and he's not that. He's all of that. But you want to know. But when he move on, you don't want to start tripping. As she said, you start taking the kids away. Start using them as pawns, playing a game, playing a chess game. All of a sudden, to this man who is not worth it, to this man who's not worthy, to this man who, you know, don't mean the thing and he's this and he's that and he's so terrible and whack and lame and all these things. He's all these things. So why are you so chaotic? Hmm? Why are you so chaotic? Why are you threatening, like this girl in the video, the new girl, talking about, oh, yeah, I could go take it. Don't make him, don't make me tell him I want to get my family back. Don't make me tell him. You were never in control. And that's the problem. That's probably why that situation happened when you're not with your baby daddy now, because you probably thought you were always in control. A lot of women have this big ego problem. Ego. How you have an ego in a relationship? How you have an ego with your man that you lay down and give your body to? That don't make no sense. Y'all supposed to be on the same team. How, how do you have an ego against this person? And you can't, you know what's so, so sad is that when they're in it, they can't see it either. Like the baby mama. I'm, let me play it so y'all can see what this baby mama said again. Let me just remind you. Let me send this man this text message to let him know I want my family back. Bitch, I'm about to humble your ass. Who? Well, where's your humility? Where's yours? One thing that I want to say is that she, uh, this woman was saying that the people in her, in that lady's comments were calling her a bum baby mama because um, if her baby daddy don't want her back, then she must be a bum baby mama or whatever. I'm not going to go as far as to call that woman a bum. I think that's a stretch. However, you see, women who, uh, when a man feels like the woman is the one that got away, most of the time it's because she's not combative, argumentative, disrespectful. She was doing her thing. Maybe he messed up. And she didn't turn into a vindictive person, egotistical person, driven person, out of, uh, trying to, you know, again, exude power over him. The women who are humble, who kindly just dismiss it, step away and say, okay, I'm not trying to fight with you, whatever. You made your decision. No problem. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to raise my kids. I'm not going to keep them from you. I'm not going to be rude. I'm not going to demean you. I'm not going to talk bad about you to them. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to go stay over here in peace and let you do what you want to do because clearly you don't want to be with me, but that's not going to affect your children. You see those women? You better believe he's trying to spin the block. You better believe he coming back around that corner. Because maybe whatever was out there wasn't, isn't peaceful. But he's going to remember you for peace. A lot of these baby daddies don't want the baby mama back because they don't remember peace. All they remember is chaos and they don't want the chaos. And you know what happens? A lot of women want the man back but don't know what to do and they become more and more chaotic. Like that's going to solve the problem when that was a problem in the beginning in the first place. I love what this woman had to say. Okay, so much so, we're going to listen again. Do it. Send it. Send an email. Send a pigeon. Send the kids wrapped up in a nice bow. Tell them you'll take them off child support. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that you got therapy. Tell them that you lost weight. Tell them you went back to school. Tell them you ain't going to school. Tell them you'll get surgery. Tell them that. Tell them. Do it. Try. I've seen it all. Baby, if a man don't want you having kids, withholding his kids, bringing him his kids, uh... It, it's not going to happen. And accept that. You are not a bum. Somebody said in the comment, your comments, you are a bum baby mama if you can't get your baby daddy back. No, that's not the case. You're just a woman who knows that she can move on and that her child's father has a right to do that too. Send the text though. But see, if you send a text or email of that pigeon, you're going to get your feelings hurt. Not by me because I don't even see that stuff. I don't entertain it. He's going to dead it. And then you're going to keep his kids from him because he's not a good dad. Girl, bye. I don't got nothing else to say. 
<laughs> let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Thank you.